this is Ramji from ACDC Marine Inc. We are here today to do a test for some thermocabling. So what is the thermocabling and what it does and what they are and how they look alike and why there is a torch over here. Okay, well, here we go. This is the thermocabling or what we call it thermocabling. This is in fact a two inch thermocabling which it could fit up to two and a half uh, or two uh, or one or up to four inch exhaust pipes. Uh, this one also will fit up to possibly seven inch exhaust pipe. So why you want to mount uh, or sense the exhaust pipe? That's what's called exhaust temperature. And we are introducing here exhaust temperature gauges from VDO. As you know, VDO, this is VDO Switzerland. They make these gauges, which we call them pyrometers. And pyrometers is a special gauge to be measuring the actual exhaust temperature. So why the exhaust temperature? Why not the engine temperature? Every boat and every engine has a temperature gauge. So why do you need to measure the exhaust? Simply for lots of reasons. Number one, if you have a diesel engine that it has uh, exhaust temperature and uh, engine temperature, you should also have an engine temperature alarm. But have you ever tested your engine temperature alarm, which it means high temperature alarm? No, you cannot test it. The only way you can test it is if you overheat the engine. Now, to measure the exhaust temperature, it's very important because by the time your engine goes high and you cannot, and your engine temperature switch that you never tested before goes off, there is maybe damage already over there. Most customers or most people don't even know that the exhaust uh, uh, it could go up to 1600 Fahrenheit. Your engine will be almost red at that time and it will cause a lot of damage. Now, if you're going to measure the exhaust temperature, how important it is, very straight important, because when you have a regular temperature gauge, it measures the actual hot water inside the engine or hot coolant inside the engine. Now, let us say that we blocked the intake for the engine, the water intake or the fresh water or the salt water intake let us say by a rag, by a paper floating, by plastic bag floating. Now the exhaust temperature or the actual exhaust, uh, uh, the actual temperature for the engine by itself. But by, by the time it goes up high, it's going to take a long time and there is damage already happening. Exhaust, it's instantly, and we're going to demonstrate that right now. We have a gauge. Uh, I don't know if that's straight or not, but uh, we have a gauge over here from VDO and we have exhaust temperature sensor or what we call it thermocoupling i'm going to light up right now and i'm going to show you how fast this affect the exhaust itself i believe it's going up to 200 fahrenheit and probably by now it's 400 fahrenheit by now it's a 600 fahrenheit and it's going to keep going up i'm not looking at the gauge but i'm sure by the time i get red hot over here it will be above 1200 fahrenheit uh, I'm pointing this uh, actual uh, uh, torch toward the tip of this unit over here and you can see it's getting red hot and I don't know right now how much is it but it's probably 800 or 900 uh, Fahrenheit and the gauge is going to keep moving, moving, moving it depends really in the actual temperature itself and now it is red, getting red hot now imagine your engine is getting that red hot, which it means your valves will be getting damaged. Everything will be damaged in your uh, cylinder, upper cylinder uh, section. Uh, I don't know how much is it right now, but it's probably going up to 1000 or 900. And I'm going to keep heating it could go up to 1600. That's actually a little torch. If I have a bigger torch than that. Here it is. That's probably will go very hard now it's going to around 1000 as it's going to keep going probably uh, almost 1100 near 1200 maybe 1100 and that's a very hot you can imagine your engine getting that hot now we're gonna cut the fire and let us see how low it goes 
So your engine under load, probably the exhaust temperature should be around 400 to 450. And that will tell you even how bad your hand in the, in the actual fuel acceleration itself. So this gauge will adjust your hand, will adjust everything for you and will tell you exactly what is the, how hot your engine could get. And you can put yourself a limit so you don't go over that limit. This gauge comes by itself. It's a simple wire, no computer, nothing at all. It's analog stuff. It's, uh, I would say it's not resistive, but it's a uh, built-in voltage. Uh, right now, the voltage, the actual uh, temperature is going low, uh, around maybe 200 right now. That means it went down cool. So when you put, when you run your engine, it's not gonna, if under load, it's gonna be around four, 450. Uh, and if it's not gonna be load on it, like you just, uh, you just in the marina and you're just starting the engine, it's gonna be around 200 Fahrenheit, which is probably the temperature of your engine, 160 to 180. This is how we show how the thermocoupling work. We have different types of thermocoupling. This one over here, it has an angle, so it's easier to install in certain application. This one is shorter. It's shorter for smaller pipes. Uh, they also, these gauges will work for gasoline engine or diesel engines. We also make alarms as well that will sense the temperature that you want to adjust it at. Uh, it's made already and we can adjust it to the temperature you want it to go off so you don't ever destroy your engine from heat. Uh, this is a simple uh, uh, video and we'll see you guys in another video. This is Ramsey again from ACDC Marine Inc.